Hi, welcome back. With the start of fall, I figured it would be a good idea to show you some lip product ideas if you are thinking about wearing more bold lips during the fall. In the spring, summer, we tend to wear a lot of nudes, pinks, peaches, corals in our lips. The lips go more for the juicy and glossy kind of root. And sometimes, you know, that's great. I love me a juicy lip. I love me a glossy lip. And not that glosses are going to go away for fall winter but the lips definitely get bolder a little bit more accentuated and start taking a little bit more of a prime spot in people's makeup looks so today we're just gonna play with five different bold lips bold lip shades that you can wear with a look like this one which is basically my favorite makeup look of all time it's just very neutral eyes very neutral cheeks and then we are going to spice it up a little bit with a bold lip. If that sounds like something that you would like to see, I hope you'll stick around. And even better, if you want to see more of what happens in my sparkly corner of the internet, I hope you'll subscribe. Actually, Let's before we get into the bold lipsticks, I figured it would be a good idea to give you a bit of a rundown of some of the things that I used to create this look or this part of the looks, which is everything minus the lips. So let's start with foundation. For foundation, I'm using my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. It is absolutely fantastic. This is the shade Huajin. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, MD26. For concealer, my favorite concealer of all time, the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This is the shade Flax. I've used the shade Dune before and it also works okay. Powder. I'm currently making my way through this um, Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. Right now, with how hot it is, it's working okay. I'm almost done with this. See how, see how it is in the bottom? So I'm really working my way through this while the weather is really hot and makeup really pushes its way <laughs> through my skin as the day goes hotter and I approach the end of the day. So I'm hoping to be done with this in the next couple of months, but this is the setting powder that I'm using for all over my face at the moment. For eyeliner, I actually use two different eyeliners. In my waterline, I'm wearing the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion called classic for a reason this is really very very glidey and very easy to apply and then on my top lid and on my wing i'm wearing um the pat mcgrath liquid eyeliner i don't know if this has a shade name but it's black i'm wearing that <laughs> blush i'm wearing pat mcgrath desert orchid on my cheeks i decided to forego highlighter because as you can see it's a pretty luminous blush as it is. If you wanna add highlighter, of course you can. I'm using it from this um, face palette, which is the Holiday 2021 palette. Sorry about that. Um, and I'm actually using Golden Nectar, this highlighter in my inner corner, in my inner corner, as an inner corner highlighter. Of course. Learn to talk, girl. Learn to talk. <laughs> Eyes. The most perfect neutral eyeshadow palette ever created, of course. Of course that's on my eyes come on natasha denona biba beautiful absolutely beautiful so here are the shades that i used i used freckle no freckle oh my god freckle <laughs> i used freckle as an all over the lid transition base shade then i deepened the outer corner and the crease with seed and then i put monroe all over the lid i also put seed a little bit in the um bottom lashes okay so i just use those four shades one two three four no one two three i use three shades i use three shades if you don't have biba because biba is quite pricey um there are other neutral eyeshadow palettes of course that you can use for a look like this including natasha denona mini nude i also think that a palette like the persona identity palette would work really well for this um makeup by mario ethereal eyes would work really well for this um what other palettes are kind of like that of course natasha denona i need a nude would probably work for this as well um possibly alter ego luster although that one is a little bit more rosy but 
quite neutral still so i think it would still play really well but again any palette that you have oh maybelline nude to new york if you have it i don't know if that's discontinued um but if any any neutral shades that you have that you really feel comfortable with would be would be good for this neutral look mascara where's my mascara here it is tower 28 make waves it's quite impressive it's quite impressive this is really quickly climbing up the ladder of a big 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 favorite i'm quite pleased with it other things that i actually didn't manage to grab from my bathroom but i did use were um my bronzer which is uh makeup by mario soft sculpt bronzer it's just a powder it's just a medium dark and then my eyebrows are the benefit foolproof uh brow powder i use shade five i know that the double kind of compact that that used to come in is discontinued i know that now it's just like one shade but of course like these this look can be created with really anything that you have. Just kind of keep it neutral if you really want the lip to shine, which is really what we're going for today. We're going to start with a red lip. We're just going to get the red lip out of the way because some of the other colors are a little bit um, closer in shade. So we're going to start with the true red. Let's go. So my true red selection is MAC Shocking Revelation. Here's what it looks like. And this is in the Powder Kiss formula. I actually got this as a gift with purchase in holiday 2021. I bought a Fix Plus, I think it's, I think is what it was, and like a brush cleaner. And then I got this um, as a gift with purchase. Let me show you what it looks like swatch wise. It is a true red, but I actually think that it's a cooler red. I think that it's not super warm. That really plays well for me because I have blue undertones in a lot of my face and body. So I really like these kinds of reds, especially also because they make your teeth look a lot whiter. <laughs> um, so if you struggle with staining in your teeth or something like that, a red like this that has blue undertones is a really good idea. And then I'm going to pair it with this ColourPop lippy pencil. Oops. Let's do the YouTuber thing. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Hotcakes. Let me just show you the two next to each other so that you can see that they're gonna pair up okay. So on top is MAC Shocking Revelation and on bottom is a heavy-ish swatch of ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Hotcakes. Let's go. Let's apply it on the lips. Um, in preparation for this video, I put on some Laneige lip sleeping mask a few hours ago while I was working out because I know that this will cause some suffering later. I don't overline my lips. I actually kind of like to accentuate that cupid's bow of mine because it's really clearly outlined, but I kind of like that. And even though I'm in my late 30s, I'm not yet at a point where my lips are losing a whole lot of definition. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of that as much as I can. Let me just be quiet for a second so I can finish lining the lip. Now let's fill it in with the lip color. The Powder Kiss formula from MAC is really, really comfortable. The lip liner is slightly darker than the lipstick, but I actually think that kind of plays kind of well. Like you could fill in just a tiny bit more to do a little bit of an ombre lip. Sorry, I'm just trying to see parts that need correction lip liner wise. Sometimes it's hard to 
keep it tight, you know? And there it is. There's the red choice for these bold lips for fall. MAC Powder Kiss um, Matte Lipstick in Shocking Revelation. And paired with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Hotcakes. <laughs> All right, moving on to look number two or lip number two. We're gonna continue with some reds. This is definitely a red, but it's a little bit more of a darker brick red. It definitely has a little bit of terracotta in it, in my opinion. And it's coming from someone that I think that is quickly becoming, after she launched her lipsticks, kind of a, a queen of bold lips and of unique bold shades and is of course no other than Lisa Eldridge. So we're gonna go with Lisa's Velvet Lip Color in Velvet Cinnabar. Both the lipstick, packaging 10 out of 10, and the lip liner. So for all the other lip colors that I show you, I'm gonna be showing you a lipstick or a lip or a liquid lipstick with a ColourPop lip pencil because for the most part, I think that you can find a match for the vast majority of lip shades that are out there in the ColourPop lip pencil product line. I bought a bucket, case, vault of lippy pencils a few years ago and honestly, I don't need lip liners, but there's something that feels wrong <laughs> about putting a Lisa Eldridge lipstick with something that is not a Lisa Eldridge lip liner. I think it's because her shades really do have kind of a, a very unique mix of pigments to create her colors. So I feel like if I put it with a lip liner that doesn't really match the lipstick, I feel like it doesn't do it justice. So in this situation, it's gonna be the matching lip color and lip pencil. Let's go with a swatch. I'm also always terrified now of pushing a bullet too far up and pressing it too much and like maybe breaking the bullet. Here's a swatch of Velvet Cinnabar in the bottom of my hand. The top is MAC Shocking Revelation. As you can see, it's not quite a red. It's definitely, it has more brown, it has more terracotta in it. But when you put it on the lips, it looks striking and bold and absolutely beautiful. Every time I wear this lipstick, I get compliments. It's unbelievable. And if I wanna feel like an invincible queen, I wear this lipstick every time. I absolutely love it. So let's apply. easy it is to apply this lip liner. It takes no effort whatsoever, which is surprising because this is a wood lip liner, but the whatever the lip liner is made of, it glides so easily on the lips. It's unbelievable. Lipstick, let's go. There's the lipstick, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Cinnabar with the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil also in Velvet Cinnabar. I'm removing my lipstick rather aggressively, so <laughs> I'm kind of wiping away whatever I have on foundation around my lips on pretty much almost every time. So what I'm doing is just removing the lipstick and the lip liner with one of these like makeup eraser kind of little towels. I bought a pack of like 30 of these um, from Amazon and I just wash them with my laundry. Um, and then reapplying my Hourglass Concealer 
around the lips to kind of like bring that color a little bit to evenness, a little bit back to evenness. Let's go into shade number three, which is also going to be Alisa Eldridge, but going a little bit more in the berry side of things. And we're gonna apply Velvet Myth. Same thing as before, I've kind of just adopted the rule that if I buy a Lisa Eldridge lipstick, I'm gonna buy the matching lip liner. And this is Velvet Myth swatched with its matching lip liner. Again, matte lipstick, very creamy, comfortable on the lips formula, but as you can see, this is more of like a Bordeaux kind of color, a wine kind of color. So if you want something a little bit richer, but more cool toned, maybe this will be a good option for you. And again, we're gonna apply the lip color and the matching lip liner. <laughs> Out of the two that I own, um, Cinnabar and Myth, I would say I definitely wear Cinnabar more. But Myth is equally striking. So far, I've only tried lip products from Lisa Eldridge, but I am definitely interested in trying more things from her product line. I did try a sample card of the foundation and it is spectacular. It's beautiful. So when it's time for me to buy a new foundation, I'll definitely consider hers. I'm also curious about the Elevate Glow Highlighter, the Liquid Lyric Shadows, and her new, um, her new eyeliners. And then the other thing on my radar are the Velveteen Liquid Lipsticks. I can definitely see myself buying a Velveteen Liquid Lipstick in the next couple of months. Ooh, this one feels a little grainy. What's going on here? Yeah, just checking the bullet. There's nothing grainy in it, but uh, I didn't quite apply too much on my lips. No, it's just my lips getting dry now. <laughs> Great, that's what feels grainy. Hopefully, it doesn't translate to my lips looking too crusty on camera. But I'm definitely gonna need a very thick layer of Aquaphor later. And here's Velvet Myth. <laughs> See, this is more like wine color, which I love. And I mean, we're going into the colder months, we're going into the holidays. If you live in a place where mold wine or glue vine is a thing, apply this color and think about getting cozy with a warm cup of glue vine. <laughs> This is Velvet Myth for you. We're gonna go with a bolder purple next. Thank goodness I only decided to do five of these. I only have five of these bold colors, but my lips are already on fire. Oh my God. Yeah, so after this, this is definitely gonna be a day when I use my um, fresh sugar lip scrub to just lift up the little pieces of skin that I can already feel coming off of my lips from these three matte lipsticks in very quick succession. All five of these are matte lipsticks. You do get a bolder look, look with a matte lip and I do feel like matte lips are very fall winter appropriate. Again, just evening out a little bit of the surrounding area. And let's move on to bold lip number four. It's gonna be Pat McGrath Matte Trans Lipstick. This is the shade Full Blooded. And it's very much a uh, deep purple. Very, very easy to apply, very satiny matte, which I find very surprising. And now 
Um, I will swatch two ColourPop lip liners just to check which of the two I can use with it because I'm not actually sure that I've worn this lipstick with a lip liner before, so I'm not sure that I know which of these two match. Right here, oh no, I have. I'm pretty sure I have. I actually think I've used it with both of these. But these are the shades X Factor on top and Mamacita on bottom. I think Mamacita is going to be a better match. Oh, not even a question, folks. There it is. Mamacita is the match. I'm going to show you X Factor just for the sake of showing you. But yeah, Mamacita is the match, me thinks. Yeah. Mamacita's the match. Look how much pinker X Factor is. That's like magenta. That's not it. That's not it. It's Mamacita with full blooded. Let's go. I did not check any of these lip liners, and most of them actually need to be sharpened. <laughs> This is a lipstick for when you want to feel witchy, right? Look at that. So deep and rich and beautiful, but goes really well with this neutral look. Like the lips are definitely the most attention grabbing element in my face makeup at the moment. Nothing else really competes with it. And I think that's the goal of a bold lip. You want that center of focus and a bold lipstick like this one really really accomplishes that this is mamacita from colourpop for lip liner and the pat mcgrath matte trans lipstick in full blooded <laughs> All right, kids, let's finish this up before I peel off the entire bottom of my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to correct like all the smearing that I'm doing as much as possible. I hope that the light cooperates. But let's finish with our fifth and last bold lip, which is going to be, I don't know how to define this color. Maybe a black cherry. I think that's what it is. I think it's a black cherry. So the last bold lip that I'm presenting for your consideration for a fall bold lip color is the Mented Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Blacker the Berry. And I'm going to be pairing it with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Boarding Pass. I had never heard of Mented before. Um, I got this in a subscription box and I believe that Mented is for sale at Ulta, but I think that originally Mented was a brand that came out of the Sephora Accelerator pro program, if I remember correctly, but you can buy Mented at Ulta. It's pretty affordable, um, but this is the only product that I've ever tried from the brand. It is really good. I hadn't tried a liquid lipstick in a really, really long time, and I'm quite pleased with this one. It's I need to try more from Mented for sure because their liquid lipstick formula is really comfortable and in my opinion, extremely and grossly underrated. Here is Black of the Berry and Boarding Pass. So this is the ColourPop lip liner and this is the Mented liquid lipstick. Let's apply. I'm very grateful for my lip definition. Applying lip liner has never really been a struggle for me. You may be looking at this and being like, girl, what are you saying? You're terrible at this. But it's never seemed like it's been an issue for me. So it seems like for me, it's very easy to just follow the natural outline of my lip and just apply lip liner that way. And here's a liquid lipstick. Thank you. 
more brown but definitely with a hint of berry color there which is why it makes me think of black cherry probably why it's called black of the berry and there it is this is a liquid lipstick that dries very quickly, but you don't feel like it's sucking the life out of your lips like some other liquid lipsticks do. If I want to kind of line the look up and give it a little bit of a vinyl effect, then I'll put like a clear um, lip gloss on top. That's also an option if you want glossy lips instead. I recommend um, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop lip gloss, and I also recommend the Huda Beauty Silk Balm, those two are clear and they go really well on top of the liquid lipstick without losing the color completely. This one, again, same thing. This one kind of like accentuates some of the other more brown shades that I have on my face right now. But again, a very strong lip that calls attention to the mouth that kind of rounds everything else and makes it really balanced. I feel like this is a really elegant look that you can wear at both daytime and nighttime. And this particular shade is a big, big favorite of mine. I wear this liquid lipstick all the time. It doesn't sink into lines, but again, it creates a really nice bold look and you get a really opaque application with very, very few swipes. And there you have it. These are five bold lip shades that you can wear with a neutral color for a makeup look that will bring all the attention to your lips and really make a statement in this fall. You had as much fun with this as I did. My hand didn't and my lips will probably tell me later today that no, they did not have fun with this exercise, although they look amazing in my opinion. But I hope that this was fun or entertaining for you. If it inspires you to shop your stash or it reminded you of a bold lip shade that you had forgotten about in your makeup collection and you're gonna use it again for fall, let me know in the comments, let me know the brand and the name of the shade and maybe I'll have to check it out if there's any other similar shades to these ones that I'm wearing, also drop them in the comments so that people can check out what they might already have. If you like this video and found it helpful, inspiring, entertaining, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We have some fun with makeup and beauty over here. And don't forget to share this video with someone else if you think that they will also find it fun or entertaining. I will see you next time with my next one. Bye-bye.